Yo. Hell yeah, we getting more money. thousand you might even heard the five thousand rumor but this is the closest to everything they said Donald Trump has almost approved of it the Republicans and the Democrats approve right now it's in the house it'll be they have their approval by the end of the week hopefully if that's the case we in for some real money I'm gonna go over to I'm gonna go over a lot of details also as we go through this video of just things that we need to know, man. A lot of people are missing out on money right now. A lot of people are missing out on money right now. And this is bullshit. Hey everyone, Kevin here. I want to give you an update as to how the new unemployment system and unemployment payments would work if the new over 800 page bill called the HEROES Act will pass. Now, so if you were wondering, the HEROES Act is the new bill that has over $3 trillion in um, support. I know a lot of people are asking me, how do you get all the support? Where all this money coming from? There's a lot of sponsors. Just know that. You know that. And there's a lot of benefits for the sponsors. There's just a lot of money. This is the government. But $3 trillion. This is more than the last one. So let's check this out. Oh, it's widely expected and believed that this Heroes Bill actually has a very, very good shot of passing. Every section that I've read so far seems to have bipartisan influence in it, as in it kind of feels like it's something that both Republicans and Democrats already kind of pre-crafted, which kind of explains why we're not seeing $2,000 per month in stimulus. Instead, we're seeing like an extra $1,200 a round of sort of checks and increased pay for dependents and other people are now included who previously were not. Now. There you go. That's one big thing. You're, he gonna go over a little bit more, but the college kids that didn't get money before, you can now get money. Those kids that are too old, those fathers dependents that didn't get money, you can now get money. Those people who were married in situations where you might not have, was not born over here, you can now get money. Watch. You can see a breakdown of that video. I'll link it down below if you have not yet seen that. And you can see a breakdown of my $0 mortgage and $0 rent. I'm gonna have Meet Kevin's link in the link below. So if you need to look at it or go to his page, look at detail video, he has a lot of other videos. I'm gonna go over their important videos on my channel. The ones that we need to know about. And video for up to a year. I will link that down below as well. But in this video, I specifically want to focus on unemployment, payments. And first of all, to understand this, I want to remind you, since some of you might watching this might have thought, well, I don't really want to apply for unemployment. It's only going to be for six weeks or whatever. Let me give you a quick. Pro so this is from my channel. You don't get this on my channel. These people who are not applying for unemployment, you need to apply. Even if you have a job, apply. He'll tell you why. Even if you, all you need to do is get approved for just a little bit. Just a little bit. If you make less money than you were making, and the unemployment office can figure that out, you can also figure that out. Watch one of Kevin older videos. He goes into the unemployment calculator. I think that's the name of the video. He explains it a lot. Just listen. You can get unemployment, and once you're accepted, you get that free $600 government bonus. You do not understand how awesome it feels to wake up every Wednesday and see that $600 in my bank account. 
not including what I got for unemployment. Listen to me. You need to file. And this new stimulus plan is only going to make that so much more better. Primer as to how you know if you can qualify for unemployment or even partial unemployment pay. So here's the scoop. If you are an Uber driver, a gig economy worker, you're self-employed, you're a 1099 contractor, or you're an employee, and your income has been reduced, and you're wondering if you qualify for unemployment insurance pay, or you're already on unemployment, keep watching. Here's a quick and easy, dirty, simple way for you to figure out if you qualify. Figure out right now how much money you're making. If you're making zero, you pretty much qualify, okay? <laughs> if you are making some money, what you have to do is you have to figure out how much your state pays in unemployment. So for example, if you look up, how much does California pay in unemployment? And it's $400 a week. Okay, now take that $400 per week and compare that number to what you're making now. If let's say right now you're making $500 a week, in some states you might not qualify because your partial unemployment is more than what the state benefit is. So you would... If you make 300 bucks and your state benefit is 350 or even 301, you qualify. As long as you do not make more than the benefit is, you qualify. You can go on Google.com and look up Georgia's qualifications when it comes toward the unemployment. That's very important. All you need to do is qualify would not get the state benefit. However, California has a 25% washout rule, which basically says, okay, we will pay you $400. We know you're partially unemployed. Take your income now, reduce it by 25%, which 25% of 500 would bring your income down to 375, and then compare the numbers. Oh, you make less than the $400 a week. Congratulations, you qualify for state pay. You qualify for state unemployment assurance or insurance payments. This is good because as soon as you qualify for the state payments, you unlock the federal $600 boost. Now the original. Now, basically that's what he's saying. He's about to go over some more detail, but this is something I need to tell y'all. <clears throat> um, if you got a new job or you lost your job, clearly if you lost your job, unemployment is a gimme. When I file for unemployment, I'm an Uber driver. When I file for unemployment, they didn't have it in the system. I was trying to be in the head of the game. I've been following me, Kevin, so he's been telling me what to do lately, basically. That's why I got all this money. I got an EDIL grant and everything. But anyway, uh, when I filed for unemployment, um, because the system wasn't updated in Georgia yet, I went ahead and just filed for my last job, which was Cheesecake Factory. In doing so, I didn't work at Cheese. I haven't worked for Cheesecake Factory in almost god knows how long but um i'm gonna say two years maybe or maybe a year and a half but the unemployment office picked that up and i was able to get a small synaptial amount of money because of the sickness through cheesecake factory based off of what i put down um i got approved you know and in doing so that really, really helped out because once I got approved, I instantly qualified for the government. Now, it took me a while to get it, but they gave me back pay, so I got all my money all at once. So, the reason why I'm telling you this is because it's very important. You need to file for unemployment. Another thing, dancers, dancers, girls in the stripping community. I had a couple of strippers call me about this. Apply. Your club is a business. Your club is is a business like it has to file taxes and stuff your club so your club has a name when you go into the unemployment office you put the name of your club in that's how the unemployment office can give you your benefit you only have to get approved you can also file for an appeal i know a lot of dancers does not do not file for their taxes that was a mistake but neither here nor there it's very important that you fight. Just apply. It doesn't hurt to apply. Put the name down. Because more than likely, because your club is an official business, you will get approved. Once you get approved, what happens is now you qualify for the benefit. That's a lot of money coming in your pocket from this unemployment 
And dancing. I like he about to tell you what else. The federal boost of $600 per week was originally only good for 13 weeks. 13 weeks. And it provided retroactive pay. So, for example, if you were unemployed and you qualified for state unemployment as of, let's say, April 1st, mm -hmm. you would be off that $600 boost in July. In fact, everybody would have to be done with the boost no later than July 31st of 2020. That's true, but look what just happened. Look what happened in this new bill. That's most likely gonna get passed Friday. Check this out. That's when this pandemic unemployment assistance program would end. So even though you could still get your retroactive payments, no matter what, it's gotta be done by July 31st. And we want that extra $600 on top of our state benefits because that's a good amount of money. I mean, in some cases you could be getting $275 a week in Florida plus the $600 boost. That's like 875 bucks a week. California, a thousand bucks a week. New York, you could be getting twelve to fourteen hundred dollars a week with that boost. But again, it was only good for thirteen weeks. Well, this bill strippers and dancers, please apply. Bill changes that. This bill comes in and extends the pandemic unemployment assistance payments all the way to January thirty first and potentially even a little bit longer. So instead of just getting your normal 13 weeks, right now I'm on week five. So I have eight more weeks before, eight or nine more weeks before it's over with. I get it all the way until January. That's crazy. Let's pull up the bill here and go through it. So I scribbled on the right some notes to remind you how to uh, you know, calculate your partial unemployment and if you would qualify. So we know that. Obviously, every state's going to have its own rules. So you always want to check the rules and regs for your own state. But if you are partially unemployed, I want you to be at least optimistic about being able to get this. And I encourage you to do it. Uh, to apply. Remember, when in doubt, apply. But this is the very important part right here, is that this agreement uh, shall apply to weeks of unemployment, the $600 boost, the federal pandemic unemployment compensation, and it shall apply for weeks of unemployment ending on or before January 31st, 2021. That's really good. I mean, that's like a seven-month extension to this program. They also offer states the one free week for that very first week. The federal government will pay uh, for that free week. So that way there's no waiting period for you to get paid. Of course, there's been a frustrating waiting period for a lot of folks. Some folks were, for example, denied at the beginning of April. And then some folks who applied on May 1st started getting payments within 48 hours in some states. Mm -hmm. So if you've gotten denied and you're discouraged, I highly encourage you to apply again. Just yep. like I also highly encourage you to get life insurance and then spend your time learning about the psychology of money and how to invest in real estate with my awesome programs below and that coupon code. <laughs> All right, I had to do that, okay? But anyway. Now, no unemployment, uh, no federal PUA payments uh, shall be made after March 31st, 2021. Let me clear up this. This section, this March 31st date, has to do with uh, you being in a potential transition. And so, for example, let's say you apply for the 39 weeks of unemployment with the state uh, in November because you lost your job in November. Well, you could potentially get the PUA $600 boost all the way up to March. So the, the time frame has been extended. The amount of money that they're willing to give you will be extended. And it's not exactly clear yet, and maybe I just haven't read it right, how that transitionary period would work there. But if you will end up applying for this too late, it does look like you potentially might be eligible for those extra two months. But in general, for most of us, this would end January 31st. Uh, otherwise, uh, there is this uh, transition. Hey, when God give you a blessing, accept that shit, man. When, when, when the government is helping us out with these situations, accept that shit, bro. This is free money. I'm just dead serious right now. It is free money. 99% of the time, you're going to be making more on this than you actually making in your regular job. You know what I'm saying? If you work at McDonald's, you're working set, making 17 bucks an hour. I mean, 7 bucks an hour, 10 bucks an hour. What the fuck are you doing? Do something to get fired. Quit. Whatever the case may be. Go for unemployment. I I know I don't supposed to be <laughs> telling people to do this or not, but you will be getting paid more to do this than what you're already making. Let's say unemployment only give you $10. Who cares? You get the $600 boost 
to January. It's free money. Literally, it's free money rule here. Now, it's also important to note that regarding these programs, unemployment pay is considered income. So you have to pay taxes on this. All he basically saying is when you fill out the when you fill out the little unemployment thing and they say they want to put them take taxes out, say yes. I didn't uh, cuz I'm an Uber driver. I have to do my taxes a little different. I have to be a little bit more detailed with my taxes, so I like to have all my full calculations already ahead of time. But um, I wish I did. Man, it's too late now, but it is what it is. Which means if, for example, you got $1,000 per week from the state of California, you might want to put aside, depending on your tax bracket and the rest of the money you either made early in this year or at the end of this year, you might want to put aside $300 a week of that into like a savings account or something like that because you're going to have a tax bill for that next year. Now, while it is considered income for the purposes of income taxes, for the purposes of other federal assistance benefit programs, kind of like Medicaid, where if you make a certain uh, threshold or, or you make below a certain amount of money, you qualify for uh, health care aid or, you know, whatever other benefits. This unemployment pay is not allowed to be considered income for those programs. So it's not like you could take unemployment and all of a sudden, oh, well, you make more money and then you get kicked off the other programs you're on. That's not the point of this. Uh, and, and then here's that text of the law as well. So there you go. That's the end of the video, y'all. I gotta cut it short because my, my videos can't be too long right now. I'm still new to YouTube. But, um, bro, get your money. Everybody, anybody, no matter what type of job you got, get your money. A file for unemployment. Go, 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 go do it now. Dancers, strippers, go do it now. Please do it now. Get your money. I'm the Urban Experience, where we do things the urban way. I'm out.